What is going on, guys? It is Dunk back for what do we say? An emergency video? Is that how we say that? Anyway, you get me in the non blue light right now because the aquarium's actually not even on. But USD, D, <clears throat> excuse me, USDC DPEG, uh, unfortunately, is getting a little severe here. So uh, it did fall all the way last night to about 87 cents. We have since recovered. Uh, we are at 91.5 cents right now. Where do we end up with this? This is uh, pretty, pretty crazy. So <clears throat> the events that kicked this all off last night was a tweet directly from Circle, the parent company of USDC, following the confirmation at the end of the day that the wires initiated on Thursday to remove balances uh, were not yet processed. 3.3 billion of the 40 billion of USDC reserves remain at Silicon Valley Bank. Like other customers and deposit depositors who rely on SVB for banking services, Circle joins calls for continue continuing of this important bank in the U.S. Uh, economy and will follow guidance provided by the state and federal regulators. So Circle is missing about 7 and 9% of the reserves for USDC. Is that the end of the world? Um, it may may or may not uh did i do that wrong so kobe doing some quick math here so 40 billion reserves 20 percent in cash 10 billion 3 point billion svb so 33 percent lost so i did not do the <clears throat> did not know about that cash so up to 30 percent of the tether reserves is now gone uh, locked up in a bank that is now in the fdic's hands uh for foreclosure so interesting development we do have a handful of things here we can go through. So here's what actually happened at SVB and how it came down. The worst is the most of the startup community banked with SVB, and there is a fear of large layoffs next week, including problems with payroll processing this month. This can be huge, a Lehman Brothers 2.0 moment. So what happened at, or what happened with, SVB, the second largest bank collapse in history. The SVB, Silicon Bank, has over 200 billion in deposits and works with a ton of startups. SVB bought 20, or excuse me, 80 billion in mortgage backed securities until the government raised the return you get from buying their bonds. So investors saw a better deal that put SVB business model at risk. SVB CEO decided to sell his equity to raise cash and sold $20 billion in assets. Speaking of that, we're going to cover that right now. I don't know if he's uh, actually referring... He's actually referring to these stock sales, but we do have a little bit of this here. Sorry, I'm scrolling back in Discord here a second to find it. Uh, it is right here. So these ticker symbols, SVIB Bank, so 227, that was uh, a week ago, week and a half ago. We now have the CFO, the CMO, and the CEO of SVB selling massive amounts of shares for profit before the collapse of the bank. Uh, is this insider trading? Uh, did they know this was coming? Will be penalties for this. So more and more details seem to... Uh, be emerging in light of what is going on with Silicon Valley Bank. Uh, this is probably going to get much worse before it gets better. I am unsure what to tell you about this peg. Okay, the bigger part of me wants to say, hey, look, guys, the tether peg, or excuse me, the USDC peg will recover just fine. Um, you know, it's an American-backed stablecoin. Blah 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 blah. But if anything in history teaches us, don't make a play against this betting it's going to come back because we just don't know. Never would have thought Luna would have collapsed. Never would have thought FTX would have collapsed. Never would have thought Voyager would have collapsed. Uh, if I was a betting man, I would have bet Tether would have been the first stable coin to fall uh, after Luna, not BUSD, and certainly not USDC. This is an issue. So take this seriously. Don't try uh, to long-term arbitrage this with your entire portfolio, uh, thinking this is going to recover. I'm giving you forewarning on this. We just don't know what's going to happen. Uh, a lot of places have shut down um, 
swapping on this. So Coinbase, we are temporarily pausing USD, US, USDC to USD. So you can't get your US dollars back right now off of USDC on Coinbase. Uh, that has been terminated along with several other exchanges. Uh, the good news is that USDC has 11.4 billion split between seven different banks. Two were SVBD and SIBNY. Mellon likely holds the majority of assets, blah, 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 blah. It looks like they did diversify a little bit. But if one bank has gone down in the second or third biggest in the world right now, there could be more banks that come down. There's going to be more companies that come down. It's We're kind of, we're moving. I had a video out two weeks ago. We're in black swan territory, guys. This is going to be... An ongoing issue um i haven't even looked at what bitcoin is doing it's kind of just faltering still in this apex uh, we did have a, a little bit of a higher high yesterday um, i actually already closed this short up down here uh, actually i closed it right here on this bounce back um, but do we come right back down and exit the bottom of the current apex of the support trend line on bitcoin probably at this point um, I mean, this is a 12 minute chart Four hour stock. looks like it's about pinned here. We've had the full run up on the four hour, uh, daily is coming down into the red finally on money flow, but let's go through the majority of this on, uh, USDC. So SVB CEO decided to sell his equity to raise cash. I don't know if those are the transactions that we just pointed out to you. Uh, this sent a shockwave in to startups who had their cash in SVB to think that the bank is having troubles. So a bank run happens. Uh, a bank run is basically when everyone runs into the bank to take their money out due to fear, but the bank doesn't have it since they basically loan out your monies to others, right? So Silicon Valley Bank lost $70 billion overnight. Sale of 21 billion bond portfolio is announced. 1.8 billion is lost in the sale. And they announced uh, 2 billion share, uh, share sales. Uh, Silicon Valley Bank then tries to raise capital but fails to. Uh, so they try to sell the company. But no one tries to buy it and save them. Regulators and FDIC insurance people then decide to take control of SVB. And that happened yesterday um, at closing. 93% of all deposits at SVB are above the 250K insurance limit. So the FDIC insurance is maxed out at 250K, which means only 7% of deposits are fully insured. Uh, in the coming days and weeks, get ready to find out who the 93% of startups, companies, individuals that lost millions. Uh, this is a burning tree, and we will find the branches in due time. Uh, this morning, we now know that Roku company had $500 million in the bank that is now lost. Uh, and this is going to just get more aggressive. So like every other one of these collapses, like FTX, we kind of figure out uh, all the cards uh, that are lined up, and they just start collapsing and falling over. That's why they call it a house of cards, right? So over here, uh, I, I don't necessarily like this, um, but good comparability for FDIC recovery process. And it got 62% of balances paid out right away under FDIC advanced dividend process by the final payment that recovered 94%. Uh, if similar SIVB, then Circle's max damages would be 190 million on 3.3 billion. So this is really wishful thinking. Uh, so $191 million may be chump change to Circle, but it's still a lot of money. 3.3 billion that is currently missing is huge. This would mean the United States government would have to start printing to bail this bank out and any other entities that would follow. But taking a quick look at these pictures, so this was Southern Pacific Bank that went down in 2020, or excuse me, 2003. Uh, the world does work a lot differently these days. So their pay date for the first payment was 2003. And if you're calling this wishful thinking, their last payout was 2008, so a five or six year later endeavor to get the rest of their money back. Nobody's waiting that long to recover funds uh, if they need immediate help. So uh, nice of him to be a little bit more on the rosy side, but don't hold your breath on something like this happening, okay? Uh, there is more than 200, or there is more than 22 trillion in the US banking system. Uh, the FDIC has $124 billion on its balance sheets and a $100 billion line of credit from the USD Treasury. Uh, FDIC assets cover only 1.6% of deposits about the size of Silicon Valley Bank. One bank, 
So let that sink in. So if we have a United States bank run that goes through the entire banking system, FDIC insurance is not going to be able to help you out. Um, we are going to be in trouble. So fears like this will start to cause bank runs on uh, personal banking for folks uh, that have nothing to do with uh, Silver, uh, Silicon Valley Bank. So just the fear and the FUD of this entire uh, event right now on Monday morning could reverberate into quite a bigger and larger ordeal, uh, not just in crypto, in the traditional banking and stocking sectors, okay? So moving on to the next one here. <laughs> Tether out here saying it has no exposure to SVB. Uh, in a world of crypto uh, villainy and heroes, going back to 2017, uh, everybody thought Tether would be the one that actually collapses. Uh, and they're out here bragging that they don't have any exposure to a U.S. bank that is currently under FDIC control. So pretty insane if you ask me. Uh, Silicon Valley Bank closure relationships is going to have a massive impact on the tech ecosystem. SVB was not just a dominant player in tech, but were highly integrated in some non-traditional ways. A few things we see in the coming days and weeks. So this guy's jumping into his own hypothesis of what's going to happen, but pay attention. Okay. Now one SVB, SVB, man, these, these acronyms, man, just killing me. It was SBF, FTX. Now we got USDC and SVB and FDIC. So I apologize if I start slipping over some of these. Uh, one, SVB was incredibly integrated into the lives of many founders, not just their startup banks and lenders, but also provided personal mortgages and other financial services, a whole mess for FDIC or the eventual buyer to unwind. Uh, two, any unsecured balances at SVB, those above 250K are in jeopardy. FDIC plans to pay them out as it sells the assets of SVB. Lots of startups exclusively bank with SVB as this was a covenant of their debt. Uh, CEOs yesterday faced a hard choice. Pull your deposits and go into default on your venture debt or risk losing everything in the if the bank failed. Uh, many chose to hold tight as SVB outright failures seemed outlandish. And again, this stuff always seems outlandish until it's not, until it actually happens. So uh, as this unfolds, the one thing I want you to mostly take in mind don't throw your assets into USDC assuming it's going to recover, that you're going to make a 12% back on your entire bag. Don't do it. Don't follow anybody's advice on it. Well, it may work out. It may not. You very much could lose everything here. Uh, now, they may not be able to pay, make payroll next week. Unpaid wages pierce the corporate veil. So boards are incredibly sensitive to employing workers. They may not be able to pay. Uh, expect mass layoffs later today. Monday at the latest. So Silicon Valley area, the tech sector, all the people who bank out there don't have the money to pay payroll. It's now currently in the hands of the U.S. government. The bank is no longer working. And given the weak fundraiser fundraising environment, a number of startups have been reliant on venture lenders, e.g. SVB, not aggressively pursuing amortization of debt or triggering default uh, for covenant foot faults e.g. cash balances, how will the FDIC handle this? Mass defaults potentially. Uh, having run a startup through the GFC, uh, this is the first thing I've seen since uh, that is even vaguely reminiscent of that time. A total clusterfuck. Uh, one more thing, SVB also offered wealth management services to many of its founders. So your corporate lender, corporate bank, personal mortgage lender, and family wealth manager is all at one bank, which is now FDIC uh, receivership. So that just means that all their money's gone. So some of these folks have gone from seven figure net worth to absolutely zero until we figure out how these debts are going to be repaid. Um, Jay Powell got his fucking debt crisis all right. Um, he was testifying on Capitol Hill uh, two or three days this past week. Uh, his impact uh, of that testimony has tanked the traditional stock market, has tanked the crypto market, uh, and has sent the bond market soaring in the wrong direction to fix this collapse. Okay, So we do have a ton of stuff going on. Another important note here, 
Uh, this is now impacting companies that don't even bank with SVB because their payroll providers do. So let's open this up into another uh, tweet here real quick and we'll check this thread out. So even companies who had no business relations with SVB can't pay their employees because the payment processor used SVB to make these those payroll deposits for them. So most, my post, excuse me, my post were employees. This is a dumpster fire from regulators to SV investors doing nothing to bail out their companies from breaching contracts. So let's show this thread here quick. I don't even know what company this is. Alex Alexander Mashinsky, Meshkin. I'm not sure who he is. Critical update. We want to provide an additional update that we have received on today's delay in paychecks being issued. Flow Health uses Rippling as our payroll processor. Uh, Rippling's role is to put is to pull the payroll funds from Flow Health, which is probably the company, and then use those funds to issue payment to our employers. In this recent incident, these funds have been flow pulled from Flow Health and are currently sitting with Rippling to disperse accordingly. The recent update that we received that is the bank Rippling uses to issue the payments is Silicon Valley Bank in California. Some of you might have heard that Silicon Valley Bank stock was halted amid financial concerns uh, with banking failure to raise its needed capital. And just this morning, the bank was taken over by the FDIC. Flow Health is working diligently with Rippling to ensure their this is rectified and a plans in place to prevent this in the future. Uh, what we do know is that Rippling is in the process of switching over to a different banking partner. Based upon what we do know and are being told, it will take several days for an update and clarity on a resolution. Uh, we will provide daily updates on this situation. Flow Health does not have any other financial exposure to Silicon Valley Bank. We are working with Rippling, our legal department, and reaching out to the government regulators for clarity on the situation timeline for resolution. Uh, this is just insane. How many companies are going to be affected at this point? So payroll is being missed for this company. Uh, here it looks like another company. Oops. I opened it and closed it immediately. Okay, so in the founders group chat, payroll is being missed right now in real time. It looks first 250k is guaranteed. Then you have a cert. Founders are being locked out of the bank accounts unknown reason. I'm not sure who the founder is. Square? Past at Square? Currently at Tickle Beach? Not sure what this company is. I'm not going to dig into that right now. And then we have this. Never let a good crisis go to waste, my friend. Let's close some of these up. Camp needs your help. Unfortunately, we had most of our companies cast assets at a bank which just collapsed. I'm sure you've heard the news. We are hopeful that this will be resolved soon. But in the meantime, we are turning to you, our most valuable customers, to help us. All sales from this point forward will deposit into Chase and allow us to generate the cash needed to continue operations so we can continue to deliver unforgettable family memories. Please help us by shopping camp.com today and through the weekend. The catalyzed sales are offering 40% off all online merchandise, excluding tickets and gift cards. You can use the code BANKRUN at checkout, or you can pay full price without the code, which is also appreciated. Load up on cheap toys, birthday gifts. So companies are asking the public to bail them out. Use code BANKRUN, man. That's a good laugh. Uh, the visuals here. So when your bank collapses... I never liked the Bay Area. How could this happen? 40% off. Run, don't walk. Wow. So camp.com is leaning into this as a sale. Best promo code of the year goes to y'all. This is actually pretty legendary if you ask me. Wow. That's insane. Uh, as for anyone using this, the U.S. support of Ukraine in the face of genocidal invasion of financial com comparison point to advocate the government bailing of out of SIVD. I'm sorry your parents raised you like that. So pretty insane. Uh, let's just pull, I believe they're down 40%, right? So let's just add SVID. I'm sorry, SVIB, right? Here we go. 
Well, they just turboed down, huh? So this bank is done. So here's the 22 hour chart. Let's just get a quick retracement from the top to the bottom. It is down a lot. Was that 87% since Tuesday? 89% since Tuesday. So here's the very tippy top. This is November of 2021. Imagine buying that top where Jim Cramer said it was a good buy, and now you're down 95% on your assets. So not only are the investors in the stock market under their ticker symbol here screwed, this is turboing down faster than most things I've seen in crypto. So <sighs> regulators can just kiss my ass at this point, right? So be careful with what is going on. Is Bitcoin holding? It is holding. Look at this. Bitcoin, you beautiful bastard. Uh, we are coming up on a beautiful neckline here on Bitcoin. Let's see if we can break this. I'm not going to draw this out much further here, guys. we got some nice liquidity up here at the top. Maybe we're looking for the short here in this area. Actually, if we get into that volume gap, this is kind of where we got to break. I'll be looking for some new shorts moving into the afternoon today. Uh, ultimately, I think this is going to pull down the crypto market and the stock market. A uh, quick review on the Dow. Give me just one second here, guys. All right, so here was ES1. We've been looking at this structure since uh, March of 2023, right at the beginning. Uh, that shoot up that followed with Bitcoin, the head and shoulders top, which we saw the most assets, and this draw and arrow down. This has actually been in play like this for several weeks now. I have not adjusted this drawing. It did exactly what we thought it was going to do. Uh, and then we broke the most important neckline here on the POC uh, after a, a quick bounce there, actually, we had. So we, th we thought we were going to hold that, and then we just you know, turbo down from there. So on the stock market, all the major indices are starting to look like the S&P here. But uh, I, I recover in this uh, Monday morning. I don't know that we're going to get, well, we might get a retest here. So again, Monday morning opening on the ES1, the S&P futures here, actually Sunday night. We'll see what happens. Can we come up here? We have the breakout back again, but we have to break some of these higher points. So uh, we're looking at 39,222. If we can break that, maybe we can get a little bit of recovery for the next tank. But don't hold your breath here, guys. I think ultimately we go down lower. Uh, if you do look at some of these daily order blocks, uh, we have lots of liquidity below us. We've kept $14 million. Uh, we're probably going to be coming down here just on the daily block into the 37 and another 31 million down here uh, towards the previous quarter low. I mean, that's our bounce point. So 3,500, we have to bounce on the <clears throat> S&P 500. All right, so we approach about 20, 25 minutes here. Bitcoin, same thing here, guys. You know, if we pull this out on the daily and look at the previous volume, Let's actually pull a node. So fixed volume range here. So we lost the POC. We're going to get sucked out of this node here, guys. I mean, 16.8. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty confident in that number at the moment. But let's see what happens. Do we hold it? I just don't think we do. Um, one day at a time here. Let's get through this USTC crash and figure out what's going to happen. It is a low liquidity weekend. Uh, we'll figure it out into Sunday night. Um, but just watch your watch what you're doing. Watch your trades. Watch your longs. Watch your shorts. Um, we might be getting this rejection right here. Although this liquidity let's look really nice up top. So coming down to retest the neckline one more time on Bitcoin. But let's wrap it up there. It has been a long video. Stuff is getting pretty shady right now. Do not try to arbitrage. Um, well, arbitraging is probably fine. Do not buy this assuming it's going to recover. Do not throw a hundred grand or your entire portfolio into USDC with the assumption with a 100% certainty that we're coming back to a stable peg. Uh, over in Discord, we do have lots of people talking about arbitrage opportunities right now. Uh, tons and tons of things going on.
Uh, proud to be in a Forbes annual rank of America's best banks for the fifth straight year. We also have been named to the publication's inaugural financial all-star sheet for 2023. Well, that was short-lived at Silver Bank or uh, S Silicon Valley Bank. I don't even know their names right now. So the one thing in the back of my mind is this could actually force the Fed to pivot if they kind of come in and rescue the entire United States banking system. So who knows what this is going to do. Pretty crazy. All right, guys, we're 25 minutes in here. If you've made it this long into the video, I do appreciate you very much. Uh, this was pretty long-winded. Uh, do not forget to join us over in Discord. We do do all our trading on MXC Global. Uh, still confident over there in their services. If you need to pick up some of the hottest altcoins, some of the rarest altcoins, or do any perpetuals trading, uh, QR code is on your screen. The link is in the description, and I will catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.